We're in heaven is on a place on earth. She was shouting down the phone on the second floor. Plus, your child fucking hates me. Save me before I jump, please. He'd been in B&Q buying a hammer because Eva needed some shelves, but that was just an alibi. The real reason was to leave Eva and Stella, his daughter, alone so they could female bond. Eva stood as he entered and rushed to him. Beyond in the booth, Stella's face was covered in ice cream of many flavors. Stella wasn't allowed to have ice cream. He'd maybe forgotten to tell Eva this. Now was not the time. The minute you left, she started screaming for you, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Then it was Mommy, Mommy, Mommy. Stella ran her finger around the bowl of what must have been a king-sized knickerbocker glory. She wouldn't let me take her hand or go to Builder Bear or Disney or Gap. Seriously, I had to pick her up and practically kidnap her. Everyone was staring. Eva impersonated the child. Put me down. You're not my mommy. Security in here is a bit lax, frankly. I could have been anyone. I could have been... I could have abducted your daughter. His brown and pink-faced daughter grins up at him. After Stella had been cleaned up, driven and handed back to her mother, he parked the car in the car park by the old school. I'm sorry, she said. I had this whole happy stepmom story worked out. Maybe I should leave you and get a test tube. Or move to China and adopt. God, she said, I'm so fat and useless right now. Look at that. She said, grabbing her head. You ever see cellulite on a neck before? I wish I could just vanish down a hole. Then again, I'd probably get fucking stuck. Why don't you just dump me for a tight-skinned 18-year-old fuck buddy and keep the screwing and the daddying separately? Where the hell would I find an 18-year-old, he replied. Wrong answer, she said. L'Oreal, Innovation, Nouveau, Matmorphose, Cadbury's Flake Snack Packs, Freya Deco Brazier, Gordon's Gin, Nicorette Gum, Ajon Provocateur Thongs, M&S Slippers, Orbital, Sensor Sound, 3-Speed Electronic Toothbrush, Recherche, de Tom Perdu, to Mazapam. The advert shows a domestic argument in a tiny kitchen. A woman in her 30s tearing up her ID cards and credit cards and walking out into the night. Nothing lasts. A woman throws away her wedding ring. Photo albums are torn. Furniture is thrown on a pyre. Don't look back. Image of a young woman giving his corporate bosses the finger. Go it alone. A solid, naked figure floats, smiling in a vast, perfect lake. Change everything. A woman entering a vast, white apartment. Curtains billowing in the wind. Begin again. A solitary figure stands atop a mountain, breathing deep, surveying the whole world beneath her feet. Get a life. Neo life. She vomits in the toilet, then takes pills. Please don't touch me. She hugs the duvet around herself. This she calls her parcel. She keeps her Hello Kitty socks on in bed. She'd bought a matching pair for herself and Stella because she thought it a less coercive brand than Hannah Montana or Disney. Me, 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 advanced nail polish, Aussie awesome volume shampoo, US to UK 12 volt adapter, Valerian, Caniston, rest of it. Her face mist is called Holistic, The label says, let us carry you to a place of inner peace where no one can disturb you. I'm in living rooms on the leather sofa, she said. Jesus, you were supposed to pick up Stella from school, he shouted. I called her mother. I canceled already, she said. I'm sorry. Jesus, what are you doing? We don't cancel on Stella, okay, ever. We don't use last-minute excuses. We have to prove we're dependable. Don't give the bitch any ammo to use against us. What the hell were you thinking, Eva? I lost my car keys. Can you come and get me, please? He drove to the mall in a rage, got stuck in traffic, and called the ex to check the story was true. He parked and marched through the masses, working out the hell to say to Eva. She was in habitat, in living rooms, on the third floor, on a leather sofa. Behind behind her sat a half-eaten sandwich and a paper bag. She was patting the sofa beside herself. I'm sorry, she said. I must have just zoned out. I was sitting here having a nibble, thinking about things, and then some people walked past me, and I freaked, almost like I thought they were in my living room. Her shoes off and lying beside her bare feet. Come on, let's get you out of here, he said. Where do you put your shopping bags? She looked surprised and almost disappointed in herself. There's no... I just bought this, she said, holding up the crust. You find her car keys in her bag, but she was in no fit state to drive, so they left her car in the car park. It was free anyway. It didn't matter. 
He'd come back by bus or taxi at the weekend to retrieve it. They didn't need two cars anyway. They had to cut costs. She tried to explain. I wanted to get some pillow slips, she said, because of the insomnia. I read Cotton Breathes, she said. But then there were two for one pillow slips and covers together, and I thought, good idea. But then there's the whole size thing. I know the apartment's really small, but I think we really need at least a double bed. You brought the sofa bed from your ex's. It's a guest bed. It's supposed to be folded away every night. So then I went to the bed section, but the first thing was the kids' beds. And then I thought, you've got to sort out where Stella's going to sleep, because kids need something more fixed. So I was thinking, she needs her own room, and I need a study if I'm going to get any kind of serious work again, because I can't keep working in the bedroom. I won't be able to. It was taken up by a bloody huge bed. So then I'm thinking, we need a real house and a garden. I mean, if you're going to fight for joint custody, so that's a mortgage. So I'm on the phone in bedding, shouting at the bank to give us a mortgage for a third of a million. And that's when I just had to go back to sofas and have a seat. The light from the screen around her shoulders, hair, as seen from behind from his position on the bed. She holds the used tea bag over the bin she has made for compost and throws it in the normal bin. She says she will join, join Al Qaeda, join Job Center Plus Work Club, join Greenpeace. I liked it better when we were naive, she said. Or was it when you were naive? He has to start again, repicture the scene to get the exact words. Ugg boots. Sony Blackberry, Total Care Vitamin Supplements, Lancome Lac Fever, Lavender Garden Essential Oil, Hello Kitty, Serenity Face Mask. Face mask. He picks her things from the floor and desk and wherever she let them fall and says their names as he packs them into the packing boxes she first moved in with, as if the names of things had the power to summon someone back. You're right, you're not the, the things you own, she once said, but I am. Thanks.